and a half four of my guinea pigs. I just got done cleaning the guinea pigs cage and honestly, I really like this corner. This corner on the other hand looks a little bit messy. I just put the bed there while I was cleaning the cage. It was in this corner right here before that. But honestly, I like the barn without like this huge bed in front of it. Maybe I'll put the, wait. I'm gonna put this here. No, honestly, the bed is just too big right now. I think the bed will stay outside of the cage. And this one goes here. And then it looks nice and airy. Maybe a little bit further in the cage. The guinea pigs were kind of struggling the last week because I emptied out the good hay. I always get like these huge packages from this farm somewhere. Lumi, you have a piece of hay stuck in your eye. Could you please get rid of it? Because <laughs> you've seen Zelda's eye, right? We don't want to go through this again, Lumi. Please remove the hay from your eye. They're absolutely brutal when it comes to their eye health. I always get the hay from this really nice farm and it usually has a really really good quality like it's just really fresh and has these super long pieces the hay is very thick and it also has like these tiny extra pieces in it that the guinea pigs really love and sometimes a little bit of flour gets in there the guinea pigs are really happy they love this hay we've been you can tell Zelda almost climbing into the hay rack we've been getting this hay for like the past couple of years. We've ordered this hay when it was still 15 euro. It's now up to 22. So we've been like using this hay for a while and I ran out last week and it took a while for the hay to arrive and you like, I cannot tell you how much the guinea pigs were boycotting the hay that I got for them. I got the one from the pet shop that we used to have before we found this farm and the guinea pigs were just absolutely not having it like a full on sitting in front of the hay rack complaining just really sadly toying with the tiny pieces of hay i do have to admit this hay does look better than the one from the store but <laughs> you won't well believe how much of a fit the guinea pigs threw like full on not relaxing near the hay rack just weaking for more as you can tell now they're doing better I think the guinea pigs are kind of confused because the weather is really weird right now. It rained a lot, so it's just extremely humid. And then today is a really hot day. It's still humid. So I think the guinea pigs are just really weirded out by the weather. They're kind of tired today. Um, well, except for Zelda, right? You're just always on the lookout for food. Yeah, I can see that, Zelda. Hmm? You're just always hungry. Zelda! Zelda and Fitz are just the hungriest guinea pigs ever. <laughs> I know Fitz. But regarding the heat, I feel like especially Lumi is just really having a hard time. I've talked about this before, but Lumi is not doing well with temperature changes. So it's not only when it's getting really hot, but this also happens when it suddenly gets cold. Like she's not coping well with that at all. She needs like a week to adjust. And in that week, She's just really not a happy guinea pig. So I'm gonna head to the kitchen and prepare a nice summery snack for the piggies. You heard that guys? You're getting a snack fit.
You are such a resourceful little pig pit. Wait, wait. Yeah, just go for it, piggies. This is your bowl. Okay, let's just dump it for everyone. And let's go find Lumi. Lumi! Hey, Lumi, actually, most of this food is for you. Look. Look. Look at these feet. <laughs> That's Tutu. Oh, I haven't had a beautiful shot of these feet sticking out since Gatsby. Tutu, do you need a tutu chill cam? You remember that sound, right? What a nice way of ending this video. <laughs> well, this is going to be it for today's video. I hope you enjoyed it. I'm happy to say that Mission Lumi's Happy was accomplished. And see you guys.